How are you wonderful people? My name is Trent Parson and today we're going to do part 31 to my let's play of Pokemon Sun for Nintendo 3DS. In the last video we finally completed Molly's Grand Trial not Grand Trial, Molly's Trial and what we need to do now is head on down to I believe Kahuna Olivia and battle her. So yeah guys we stopped on 2 hours, 34 minutes, and 5 seconds in the last video. We're going to continue from there. Before I do, I'm going to let you know that... Uh... Crap, I forgot. I do have another announcement, though. It's telling you that we will have to... We will finish this video in, the, in this video no matter what, pretty much. We're on 2 hours, 34 minutes, and 5 seconds. We're almost done with the sixth video. I think by the end of this video, we'll be done with it. So yeah, we'll finish it off, and then the next video, we'll continue. We'll start the next video after that. We'll start the seventh video, basically. Uh, oh, my announcement was a while ago, the fact that in a few minutes, I'm probably going to up, getting up and give me something to drink again. So yeah, as soon as I start this video, it's probably when it's going to happen. Or no, a few minutes after I start the video, because I'm going to get in German, so my hands and everything. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let's go and get started with part 31. Here we go. Yes. You received a Z crystal from Milo. Let me show you how to do grass type Z moves. You go like grass cake. Okay. Since you cleared my trial train, I want you to help me train some Pokemon from here in the Lush Jungle. Here, have some nest balls. Nest balls. You obtain ten nest balls. You open up the eyes of the bucket and put the nest balls on the inside. Hmm. Looks like one well, tree is getting finished all the food. Ooh, I really want you guys to try some. So, like, we'll just do two, huh? If you insist, Nick. Later from the rear, bone seems to fill my whole mouth. It tastes so good you might melt. No way, is that my tongue that's melting? Uh, it's, it's so sp spicy. What, what's wrong with you guys? Don't you have any taste? Are you headed out to Olivia's for the Grand Trial? Woo, what's that sweet smell I smell drifting my way? Could it be a taste of Molly special? I heard you cleared Molly's trial, yeah? Alright, then I have a present for you. That little pin right there is Smart Strike, a move that will never miss. I do eventually think I start attaching on Z crystal. There will be all kinds of discoveries and new experiences to make your adventure brighter. There's a facility, yeah, that I want you to go check out on your island challenge. The Dimensional Research Lab. Let's get on over there with extreme speed. Um, I bought the TM, or not the TM, I bought the, um... Hey there, Trent. Guess I should congratulate you on clearing off three of the Loa Alice Trials. Congrats. Looks like it's time for you to take on Kahuna and all of the Grand Trial. Olivia is an expert user of rock type Pokemon. You're going to want to catch some grass type Pokemon in the Lush Jungle after your team. Whenever you're ready for the Grand Trial, come see me at the Dimensional Research Lab. It's down past Route 6, yeah? But just ask Rhyton if he needs some help. Didn't the professor tell you to head for that elemental research lab? Zero, zero. Um, as I was saying, I bought the um, Z crystals I keep getting. I do eventually start attaching them to Pokemon, put them on them, that way they can use them. Well, I think that's a little bit later on in the project. I believe I did anyway. I hope I did. That must be just a great waste. I think I actually did though, because I remember when two came involved, I think I remember having the, the grass team Z on him and he got to use a certain Z move. So yeah. Wow, 
love the duty of readers to discover and refine the strengths of Pokemon. Your account for Pokemon Breeder Yuki. We'll give me something to drink, we'll be right back. You got 20 minutes up on this video. If you wonder why I got the drink, it's code red. So yeah. Uh uh. Dole out, which I. Easy. You know what? Oh, yeah, my, oh, yeah, I think I already did that. Yeah, I think I did. By the way, I didn't tell you this already, I really don't talk to many people in this game, but as we go through the polling games, you'll see that start talking to a lot more, and it can actually be useful. I forget if I didn't put one X or not. I definitely do it in the newer games, or the games I'm doing now, if you want to make Ruby, I did a lot in that. I mean, I didn't put on Y. I think the only game I still don't do it in is more mystery dungeons, and that's mainly one of the ones that don't involve the story. The ones that you can go talk to the random way around. Which I'm not, I don't even do that. The, sto the story in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon was a really good one, so yeah. Actually, all Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games have a good, pretty good story, but. 
the best one in my opinion had to be on Explorers of Darkness and then it's and then it had to be Gates to Infinity, I believe. I did Red Rescue Team 2 and I tried doing Super Mystery Dungeon. I haven't had to do Super Mystery Dungeon quite yet. But we'll get to that eventually. I think that's what I'm gonna do after Omega Ruby. I think I might do Super Mystery Dungeon after that we'll do. I either Pokemon Water or redo it, redo of Pokemon Sun and Moon. Now I can make up for what happened in this project. Put all the fails. Now I know a lot more than I used to. Right, this ain't bored the video I'm lost. Seems like I am kind of lost right now. <laughs> Trust me, guys. Um, I ain't always gonna never get lost anymore in a Pokemon game. There is some parts I still get lost to this day in. A good example of being sold um, um, heart gold and silver. silver. Fun little fat, and that's the game I've got lost the most in. Like where in the one supposed to go. So yeah, I had to look up multiple times on where to go and how to get certain areas and all that. I make your ruby not nearly as much, but there was one or two locations I had to do it in. Maybe a little bit more than that, but yeah. So I don't think I don't get, ever get lost anymore. It still happens sometimes. I already told you my loop up story about how a guy wanted a um loop up and he'd give me a noy bat for it. So I went back in the grass and looked for 15 minutes. I already told you that story, so I ain't gonna tell it again. I just told you a little snippets of it again. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Go, Nebby. Here's the splash. You? Heh. I was just acting like I was trying. You, you don't seem to end up getting hurt, Nebby. So I never really liked Pokemon trainers or thought that I would want to be one myself. But when I see Trenton and Pooh, it's like they've thrown open some door that I always thought was closed. They stride straight through it into the future. It seems so amazing somehow. Pew. Since we last met, the 
There's a laboratory here that studies the dimensions, you know? And the professor is waiting to meet you. How, how are your trials? Must be quite trying, quite trying to do three in a row. I don't know. The first two was really tough, the third one was a piece of cake. I guess it was like, we're going Goodness, really? Wasn't any trouble for you to tap off the river world? Suppose that explains it. The reason you look so con content and unstable. Sure cat there, I mean. Off the dimensional research where I have to zip through the dimensional makes them perfect. Sorry about that guys and ladies just was running in the background. I'm really sorry about that. We're going to the dimensional research lab, aren't you? We won't get with that. After all, there's nothing else that's true. Uh-uh. Professor Burnett, she runs the Dimensional Research Lab, yeah, and she's also my wife. You're Trenton, right? Lily told me about you. She said you were the reliable sort. Three months ago, I found Lily lying on a beach. Paws mobbed in her bag, also unconscious. Hmm, no hole today? Oh, he's out doing his own thing. But he'll be the real deal someday. He could even become a community of the old party before him. Really think so? Whoa, whoa. Well, yeah, I really do. Good to see you again, Hope. It's been a while since I last saw you. Anyhow, I brought Trent here because I wanted you to tell him about some of the mysterious phenomena here in Aloha. I'd be happy to. Mysterious and low, huh? Then he's got to mean the ultra wormhole. It's extremely rare, but sometimes a hole opens in the sky over a low. It appears that this rift leads to a different and unknown dimension. The reason that people think that there may be a mysterious dimension is because of the legends of fearsome Pokemon appearing from the ultra wormhole. Phew. It's very weak as proof, but I can't ignore it. There is also plenty of evidence already in the Pokedex for the existence of different dimensions, right? There's some Pokemon. Even normal wild Pokemon sometimes attack people, right? The Pokemon that appeared that from the Ultra Wormhole went way beyond that. They were called Ultra Beasts, and they were feared. If the stories are to be believed, the Guardians due to the reason that Alice fought desperately against them. But like I said, it's all legends and folk tales. It's hard to know how much is true. But I would be very happy if I could somehow un unravel the mystery of the ultra black hole by studying the dimensional disturbances. We have recorded several known relationships between Pokemon in different dimensions and books. You can find them on the bookshelf in this lab. What? There's the fruit and dust, but I don't think we've got nothing better to do. This one I said that we went more on the reverse side. What's it? What is the truth? I think we've got nothing better to do. I don't know what we got to do. Professor Burnett was studying a dimensional space called the Internet. I don't know what I got to do. 
a plan that also made it very bloody. Leaf records several known relationships between Pokemon different dimensions and books. You can find them on the bookshelves in this lab. Oh gee, thanks. Can we stop? Uh. Purple. Oh man, I think it's so close. There are many writings about this. Between reality and dreams. Control the border of the space and they want to transport those flower bucks or even that dimension. Are you only in there? That's how we're stuck doing. Who's gonna do something else? You wanna know what happened three months ago? Well, I wanted to learn more about Nebby. I mean, about Cosmog. So I decided to come speak to Professor Burnett. I got lost along the way and ended up wandering about into my thoughts on the shores. She listened to my stories, staying up all night to hear it all, and then she even got her husband, Professor Kluki, to leave me. This uh, uh, must have the name when I first did this game. game. I do Professor she told him to help me investigate Nebby's origins, too. Professor Burnett has been so kind, and she's still helping me. I tried to find a way to get Nebby back to his own home. She's been like, like a real mother to me. Dude, I'm gonna spend the room. Can I talk to you? Dude, let me talk to you. There we go. I'm off to check out Diglett's Tunnel next. It's a whole cave made by Pokemon, right? Can I talk to Professor and I? I'm not reading books, it's only boring. How about that, Trenton? The Ultra Beasts are really out there. I wonder what kinds of moves they can use. He finished all three of the lowest trials. Woo! And now comes the big match against Olivia. The Alan Kahuna, the biggest and baddest trial of them all here on uh, oh, okay. the Grand Tribe. Good luck. Oh. Olivia's house is past Diglett's Tunnel. It's in Mountain Heat. So watch out for Team Skull. I still have some things I want to talk to Professor Bunner about, so I'll stay here. I'm off to check out Diglett's Tunnel next. It's a whole cave made of Pokemon, right? We look kind of one of lucky bunch. I want to have a place in that room too. Which world? One. School. What, the? what was that just now? It looked like a crack in the sky. Hey Trenton, so you made it through all three captains' trials, yeah? And you should go meet cousin Olivia. She lives in a town past Diglett's Tunnel. Diglett's Tunnel is. Let's see. Hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. It's my mom's warm. I'm gonna wait till it shuts up for a minute. Sorry about that, guys. We're going to finish up this video quickly. Here, it's kind of near the PMC. That's, it's easy to walk right past it, though, so keep your eyes peeled. Now, it's more than once time for me. As long as I got ride time. Why are we in here for something? Good Lord already, you got big with Okay. 
See, that's why I want to get past this thing, really. these Pokemon called Diglett, and they're getting really out of hand. Macular Trash can't even get through. So how's your own challenge going? Let me see which crystals you burned. Ooh, look at you, Trenton. Nice work. I see you even passed mileage, bro. So by the time you had some fun with me, the Diglett has sailed down, too. If you are as strong as you appear, you should be able to make it through this cave. At the other end of it, you'll find that's where my shop is. I'll see you there. If we get through this tunnel, we'll be just steps away from it. Well, thank you, Rock Hop, and I'll let me read you. If we get through this tunnel, we'll just be steps away from it. I see. Big boy, zip. No. What? If I drink it, I can keep my booty. Oh, you don't scare me, woman. Oh no, Diglett. Well, booty's about to end anyway. Guys, we got like 30 seconds left in the video. Less than 30 seconds. Can I can't, I choose you. We only got 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, guys. That is the end of part six. While we're here, I'm going to show you what we're going to do next. As you remember, we made it through part one, part two, part three, part four, part five, and part six, which is this one. I'll make sure it's this one. I'm not sure we ain't going in. Ain't going in wrong. Yeah, because we're heading to do its tunnel right now. Well, so that's the view we may have passed. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here's the next one right here above it. This is only an hour and five minutes. Oh wait, yeah. I'm making sure something for a start. Yeah. I'm making sure we didn't start a battle because that wasn't uh, yeah. that might make sense of it. Oh, you don't scare me, woman. Oh no, dig it. I see if we call for help to know it. Why well, next we started two with two gold bat uh, zoo bats. Well, I finished this video anyway. We were seeing this fire, so let's go ahead and end it off. No, we didn't call for help. Oh, now we did. Okay, so we did, and it actually worked. Okay, on this. you don't know this. This um, zoo bat just called for help. Okay, yeah, this is where we definitely stopped. Okay, guys, so we made it to that video. Hello, we made it to that video. Okay, guys, you don't know this. I don't know, we made it to this video. This is the seventh video, I believe. Um, and it's only an hour and five minutes and 32 se 33 seconds. Um, we stopped on zero seconds. Like, we haven't got nowhere in this video. We ain't got much more time, so we're gonna go and stop it. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see everyone for part 32. Whenever I get started with get started with the next this video, see everyone then.
Bye-bye, everyone.